Aviation Week visited the U.S. Navy's Jacksonville Training Center on October 17th to see the leading edge of the service's synthetic training master plan, the MH-60 Romeo Tactical Operational Flight Trainer. Built by CAE, the simulator includes separate cockpit and sensor operator cabs for a realistic combined training environment. Um, we are hooked up with a sensor operator, operator just as we would be in the aircraft. Uh, in the aircraft, he'd be sitting about right there, uh, but I can, even in the aircraft, not really see his screen, so uh, he's in another module operating his, um, his screen. We're talking to him over these headsets, um, but I can see his, if I want to, I can see his screen just by pushing this button right here. So that's what he's seeing over on this screen. Pretty much what I do is, uh, you know, I, I get these unknown contacts, see if you uh, look right here, so unknown contact. I'm going to go up here, I'm going to say, uh, sir, I got a contact bearing 058 for 30 nautical miles, go ride with that. Your ID in all these surface targets, like this guy right here, is a small, like, fishing boat. So what they're doing is they're determining whether they're neutral, unknowns, that's what the yellows are. The simulator, as far as tactical scenarios, is, is, is priceless training. Um, because like you said, you know, for the first time, um, 10 JG Lawrence uh, goes out and acts actually flying over the Persian Gulf, trying to do VID contacts. Uh, it won't be, it won't feel like the first time he's done it. He'll be confident and comfortable with how he's going to use the systems because the uh, the button pushing and the overall tactics don't change. They'll just basically have to adapt to the actual environment um, and maybe a little more hectic of a. Uh, of a traffic scenario.